Hi, my name is Bakhad Rahmedov. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a little bit more theoretical tests on positive definite soft matrices. So in a previous lecture, we defined what is the positive definite matrix. A symmetric matrix with all positive eigenvalues is called positive definite. Well, in order to identify this, we figure out an algorithm. So if, if you would like to test positive definiteness of a symmetric matrix, we need to just make sure that the determinant of the SK is going to be equal, is going to be more than zero for all values of the k from 1 to the n, where SK is going to be the k by k matrix from the upper left corner of the given matrix S. So for example, if the S matrix is given as a 3 by 3 matrix, well, let's say S11, S12, S13, S21, S22, S23, S31, S32, S33, and then uh, so th that's that's going to be our symmetric matrix. So the S1 is going to be this matrix. So the one by one matrix from the top left corner. So the S2 is going to be this matrix. So the capital S2, which is going to be two by two matrix from the top left corner. And the three by three matrix is going to be this matrix. So that's going to be the S3, which is going to be the three by three matrix from the top left corner. So if the determinants of the three matrices are positive, then the all eigenvalues of the matrix are positive. So today we are going to discuss a little bit more theoretical tests on positive definiteness of the matrix. So let's say we are given a matrix S and we've got this eigenvalue problem. So the X, S times the X is equal to the lambda times the X is an eigenvalue problem for this matrix S. So X is going to be the eigenvector and lambda is going to be an eigenvalue of this matrix. Well, what I would like to do is I would like to multiply x transpose from both of the parts. So let me multiply the x transpose and x transpose from, from here and from there. So I'm going to just multiply an eigenvector from both of the parts. And since this lambda is a constant, I can take this out from here. It's going to be x lambda times the x transpose to the x. So what kind of equation I've got is x transpose to the sx is going to be equal to the lambda times the x transpose to the x, which is equal to the lambda times the z norm of the x. In the square. Well, you see, so I've got this equation where on the left hand side I've got this uh, this multiplication. On the right hand side, I've got this multiplication where I'm going to multiply an eigenvalue to some positive number. So because the norm of a vector is always going to be positive, so it means that so the right hand side is positive if this one is positive. Well, so uh, if x transpose s to the x is positive for all possible eigenvectors or all possible vectors x, non-zero vectors x, then lambda is going to be positive as well. So that's going to be our test. So uh, a matrix, a symmetric matrix s is positive definite. If x transpose the sx is positive for all possible vectors, for all vectors x, which are non-zero vectors. So you see, so this is not really applicable to us. So whenever you're given a matrix, 3 by 3 or 4 by 4, you can't really just use this test in order to check the positive definiteness of a matrix. But this is rather more theoretical tool. So if you're given the composition of the two matrices, which are positive definite, or the composition of a matrix, which is decomposed as the multiplication of the other matrices, you can figure out the positive definiteness of the matrices. So let me explain you what do I mean. So let's do an example. So let's say A and B are two positive definite matrices. Are two positive definite matrices.
then the sum a plus b, the new matrix, is also positive definite. And in order to prove this, we are going to use this definition. So the a is positive definite, it means that the x transposes ax is positive for any vector x. So please know that this is a constant, right? When you're going to multiply a vector to the matrix, you're going to get a vector. And this row vector times the column vector, you're going to get a constant. So the x times to the b times the x is also positive for all possible vectors x. So now, so if you are going to get just a plus b times the x transpose to the x should be positive, so that a plus b is positive, definitely. Well, this is positive, right? Because if you open the brackets, it's going to be x transpose to a plus x transpose to b times to the x, which is going to be x transpose to a x plus x transpose to the b x. So since this is positive and this is positive, overall the sum is also positive. It means that x transpose to the a plus b times the x is positive. So it means that a plus b is positive definite. So you see, so we need this tool for the theoretical purposes. So there is another important application of this theory, of this test. So let S, the symmetric matrix, can be written as the multiplication of as the multiplication of the two matrices R transposes R. Okay, so it can be decomposed. like this, then S is going to be positive definite. Then S is positive definite. Well, how we can show this? So S is positive definite means X transposes X times the X is positive. So I'm going to just substitute R, S was the R transposes R. So the X transpose times the R transpose times the R X, right, should be positive. So please know that this is nothing else. This is the R X transpose times the R X, right? So the R matrix times the X, so which is the vector transpose times the R X is going to be equal to this one exactly because the transposition is going to be applied to both of these matrices and you need to just open up in the reverse order. So which is going to be simply the norm of this vector R X in the square, which is obviously positive. Right or more equal to the zero, so that's why f x transpose s times the x is positive as well. So this important application, amplification of this test on the positive definiteness is going to be used in our next decomposition method, which is called the singular value decomposition method.